We've had a refreshingly calm start to the week on Wall Street. Both the uh, stock market and the bond market are almost completely flat for the day. You did see rather a poor day on Europe, though. The main uh, pan-European index was down about 1%, and that's largely because of these ISM manufacturing survey data, which we can show you here. In all cases, it's set so that above 50 is an expansion, below 50 is a contraction. Uh, overall, you can see anemic, but just above that line. What is intriguing is uh, to see that Germany is improving a little bit to assuage some fears. Spain is showing real reasons for some degree of optimism. Italy, on the other hand, is showing real signs for concern. And so, in perhaps a slightly different way, is France. That all added up to a bad day for the European stock market. If we now uh, apply that exercise to uh, China and the US, the world's two biggest economies, which also had uh, ISM data out today, you can see a very intriguing picture. Leading up to the crisis, China was leading the world with its big stimulus in late 08. It uh, helped lead the US out of the uh, post-crisis slump. But in the last few years, it's completely the other way around. The, uh, China continues to look really rather mediocre. Meanwhile, uh, the US continues to uh, look really much more buoyant, genuinely surprising on the upside with that number today, keeping for the moment uh, in line the, uh, the theory that the US really can go it alone, lead the world through what it looked to be quite troubled times. Now, on the subject of China, I'm hearing more and more concern about a possible very alarming scenario. It follows uh, last week's actions from the Bank of Japan. What we're taking a look at here uh, is a chart of how the Chinese yuan and the Japanese yen have done since the Chinese uh, started to allow their currency to appreciate against the dollar back in 2005. Since that time, you can see that the Chinese currency has, uh, has appreciated by some 35%, made itself considerably less competitive. Meanwhile, uh, the Japanese yen, after the latest reductions, is actually now very slightly cheaper compared to the uh, US dollar than it was back in 2005. That is a really dramatic shift in the relative competitiveness in China. It raises fears that China may feel obliged actively to weaken its currency once more. That would be a very significant event. Moving to the much shorter term of uh, Tuesday, we have relatively little data to look forward to. We do, however, have the US midterm elections. The widespread expectation is that the Republicans will take control of the Senate, according to the uh, Iowa electronic markets, that's about an 80% probability. I think that is probably in the price at this point. I'm not sure that they're particularly politically salient, but it's still very important to keep an eye on the U.S. midterms.